all right guys i say welcome to my channel and if you have not subscribed please endeavor to hit the subscribe button okay and then subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button so that when i drop a new video you will be the first to get notified okay and if you have subscribed thank you so much for subscribing so i expect you to share this video like this video and also drop a comment on the comment section okay okay right about now i want to listen to vittorio renze this message is hot felt message is touching okay i was touched when i watched this video and listening to her i was really touched so i want you also to be blessed just where i was blessed or i am blessed rather i want you also to be blessed through this message so listening to this gospel truth and listening to it is just the truth nothing but the truth about god and about life in general okay so enjoy watch i was saying that our dance is good our shout is good. Our rejoicing is good. But we must make sure that when we dance, God is on our mind. God has delivered me from many, many, many things. That's why I can't play with him. He's the reason I'm here. He's the reason I'm standing. He's the reason he has kept me. He has been kind. From the jaws of death, from sickness, he has kept me. I cannot say he's unfaithful. I cannot judge him unfaithful. He is good. He is kind. He is merciful. This is why we love him. Every time when you think about his goodness, when you think about his kindness, when you think about his faithfulness, there was a period I was sick for two years and there was nothing anybody could do for me. The hospitals in Nigeria couldn't help me. But then they took me to Houston. Even that did not help me. God didn't heal me in Houston. Rather, he sent me on an errand. He told me to go to Nigeria. While I was sick, a shadow of myself, believing for healing. And I thought, you know, if I pray, hear me. He didn't heal me. And he was healing people through me. And it's so possible for me to say he's unfaithful. Bring it down a bit. It's so possible for me to say he's unfaithful. But while I was there, asking him, heal me, he did not. The only question, you know, it's good when the Lord help you. God is holy. He is holy. His holiness makes him do right regardless of what you do or not is his holiness he will be he will be a faithful judge so regardless of what he has written in his word that he will never leave me nor forsake me when i was going through this for two years i started to feel he wasn't there anymore and so i prayed and prayed nothing happened and then the holy spirit helped me and said maybe you are praying wrong why don't you ask him if he is with you he says, because he said in his word, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you fear no evil because he's with you. Emmanuel, God with us. And once he said that, I was like, okay, let me ask. By this time, my faith was low and I needed, like Gideon, a sign. And so I asked the Lord to give me a sign the next day. And when it was about time for my sign, the devil came to try me. But guess what, long and short, I got the sign that he was with me. And that was it. And after that, he still did not heal me. He sent me to Nigeria to go and record, to go and do a crusade. And that's how Return was born. Right? And songs like, We Want to Draw, that's how they came on fire. Right? But as I was going on the assignment, I realized that this pain is no longer there. This is no longer there. That is no longer there. And today, I'm still here. How many years later? Strong, well, because God is faithful. So every time you come before him, you should know who you come before. He is not man. There are things you do before man. Mm. But if you don't know who you come before, you'll be wasting your time. 
and you don't want to do that God sees the intent of your heart even if we all see something else what God sees is different so that's why you want to fear him because he is holy all right are you still with me he is holy and that's why I can say 